Hey there folks, it's Yaken from Train Ground. Alright, I do know that a lot of you guys that is watching the uh, review videos, sometimes you do not really need to purchase flagship devices. You are not actually using the phones to create content, but most of the time you just need a phone to do calls, do your daily messaging, checking your email, having uh, entertainment as well. So today's device I'm going to review is actually this Infinix Hot 20. Okay, it's already available in Malaysia and it's just priced at 599 ringgit Malaysia. So should you be considering it? Let's find out what to like and dislike on this device. Let's go. So the first thing I really like on this Infinix Hot 20 is definitely the display and the audio. Starting with the display, it features a 6.82 inches LCD screen that supports 90 hertz refresh rate. Yes, 90 hertz refresh rate. So this ensures you as the user when you purchase one of this device, okay, a smooth scrolling experience. Look at that, it's smooth, it's good. Uh, and also the touch display here is quite accurate. Uh, you don't feel any uh, lagging as well. So pretty awesome here and the brightness of this display is good as well okay so if you are going to use it a lot in the indoor not a problem brightness is adequate enough but maybe during outdoor might be a little bit struggling when the hot sunny weather glaring onto your screen okay but the important thing on this display is definitely the large screen estate uh, if you are going to use it for entertainment mobile gaming productivity you are going to be benefiting from this 6.82 inches lcd screen and also for the audio department over here okay it features a stereo speaker setup and uh, yeah you're going to enjoy watching movies listening to music with this device and if you want to enhance your listening experience that's a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on this device where you can just put in your wired headphones to enhance your audio experience but the stereo speaker they sound really really loud however i do notice like at times it might felt a little bit too hollowish yeah and uh, a little bit lacking of the bass but hey you're still getting a really really loud speaker from a 600 ringgit malaysia so i have a youtube video here let me just sample out the display and the audio for you guys. So I'm going to max out the volume for you guys. So th this is from the uh, bottom speaker. And now I'm changing over here. This is from the earpiece speaker. The second thing I like about the Infinix Hot 20 is the battery performance. It features a 5000 milliamp battery on the device and uh, supports 18 watt fast charging and adapter is included in the packaging as well. Uh, overall, it's a solid device if you are going to expect it to last it throughout the day with normal usage. However, do expect the battery life to be used up even quicker if you are heavily using it for mobile gaming and taking a lot of photos and videos. So take note on that. The next thing I like about the Infinix Hot 20 is definitely the performance. Despite it is using a uh, MediaTek Helio G85, all right, as you can see on the device here, uh, performance is actually really solid from the Helio G85 chipset. Uh, you are actually able to uh, do your normal daily activity with the chipset over here, be it for calls, scrolling the websites, checking your email, open documents, all this, it works perfectly fine. And even for gaming, yes, not a problem. As long as you are setting the graphic settings on the lower side and uh, have a really low demand on the graphic settings, I think you can live through with it. And also this device is paired with a uh, six gigabytes of RAM over here. And there's a virtual RAM, okay? Which you can actually expand it up to five gigabytes of RAM, making this device capable of uh, running up to uh, 11 gigs of RAM. The next thing I like about the Infinix Hot 20 is definitely 
the 50 megapixel main camera over here. Now, if you're someone who loves mobile photography, then the 50 megapixel camera here would serve you really, really good. Just don't expect it performs like a flagship smartphone camera. That's it. So if you are going to take a lot of like bright daylight photos, uh, areas that's properly lighting, yeah, the 50 megapixel camera captures amazing shots most of the time. But when the conditions is getting tougher, such as low light conditions, yeah, you can notice the uh, details will be noisy and softer details might occur. Meanwhile, if you turn on the super night mode, photos look brighter, but they might felt a little bit over processed and over sharpened. But I still like the photos because it turned out really, really nice. Uh, minimal noise and uh, you're definitely able to post it on your social media as well. Meanwhile, if you are going to take a lot of videos, uh, this device can shoot up to 2K 30 frames per second. Uh, video wise here, I would definitely say it's just average at its best. Uh, you sometimes might able to notice the videos will be a little bit choppy for no reason despite it's saying uh, 30 frames per second and also the uh, internal mics here uh, they are not really good in uh, delivering nice audio so go and check out the video sample over here Now, the last thing that I really like about the Infinix Hot 20 is its other features. So the first one is definitely NFC, meaning that uh, users that purchase this Infinix Hot 20, you are able to do uh, wireless payment with the e-wallets apps. And also you can uh, transfer data to other smartphone users, be it whether you have snapped a photo, you just need to transfer your photos over to your friend's smartphone you can nfc it over to them yeah a really convenient feature over here meanwhile the next feature that i really like is also the fingerprint scanner this will enable the users to unlock the device much more quicker and also have a better uh, security on the device so you can use all the app and uh, have your fingerprint scan option turned on most of the time for added security and uh, lesser the risk of your privacy being leaked out now the other last feature i really like about this infinix hot 20 is actually the flashlight feature all right not only it features on the uh, rear camera but the front camera here actually has a dual led flashlight which you can use it for your selfie okay so as you can see you can use it for your selfie not but it's cool and then you can go over to the flashlight menu and you can use it as a front flashlight it's bright and also you can use the 360 flashlight as well where you can just open the uh, real flash and the front flash for like signaling sos help during uh, dark areas or whatsoever all right so now what are the things i dislike about this device Definitely, the first one, I will have to say the lack of 5G support on this device because it is using a uh, MediaTek Helio G85, which is a 4G chipset. So you are missing the 5G services here, which Malaysia is actually gradually getting the 5G services up and running right now. Uh, so if you are someone that is really important to have 5G service right now, then this phone will not be able to meet your demand. But if you are someone who doesn't care about the uh, 4G, 5G connectivity, yeah, then that's not a really an issue for you. Now, the next thing I dislike about the Infinix Hot 20 is definitely the lack of secondary camera at the rear and also the weak selfie camera over here. 
So, because it doesn't have any ultra-wide camera or telephoto camera over here, so everything has to be relying on the 15 megapixel main camera. So if you need to take a wide shot, you have to move back several steps. And if you need to do some zooming, you have to be careful of the digital zoom because uh, you can't zoom in too much. And I do highly advise if you can, try to go in a little bit near to get that shot. And over to the uh, selfie camera, the 8 megapixel selfie camera here. Okay, if you are taking outdoor bright daylight sh selfie shots, it still perform okay. The photos can be shared onto the social media. However, in low light condition, yeah, things take another different story because uh, details are soft, uh, noise are appearing as well. And even if you turn on the flash, it's still the same. And the uh, dual LED flash selfie over here, yeah, it makes my face look too white at times. Even though I have actually uh, dialed down the brightness of the dual LED flash. All right, folks. So this video is being captured with the Infinix Hot 20 front-facing camera in 2K 30 frames per second. And this is the video quality and the audio quality. Tell me well, how do you think is the quality in terms of the video and the audio as well. Hey there folks, it's Yaken here. Alright, so this video is being shot with the Infinix Hot 20 front facing camera with the dual LED flash being turned on. So this is the video quality in 2K 30 frames per second. Now, the last thing I dislike about the Infinix Hot 20 is definitely the phone overall design. Yeah. For me, it's subjective, but this is just only my own opinion. It doesn't look so attractive to me, some sort, okay? Maybe it's just me, I'm, I'm not sure. Maybe because I am being uh, pampered to be able to try out numerous flagship devices and other entry-level phones, but the design here is kind of really lacking. And also the design language here, I need to highlight this to Infinix. Look at that. Right? It's not centralized. Look at the SIM card slot. It's not really actually centralized properly. Okay, same goes with the 3.5mm headphone jack. Look at that. It's slightly bottom and also on the uh, USB Type-C charging port as well. It's Overall, I felt like there are some things it need to be symmetrized properly. And uh, also on the QC check of the device, okay? Look at that power button. It. Look at that. Yeah, one sided just like went up, and one sided is just went down. So, all this I think Infinix really need to keep improving. I think there's a lot of room to improve for Infinix. Alright, folks, I'm going to wrap things up on this Infinix Hot 20 review with my final verdict. So, once again, this device is priced at 599 ringgit Malaysia. You can purchase it off at Lazada and Shopee. They have an official store. But if you want to go to the official retail stores, yeah, make sure to go to authorized Infinix Malaysia retailer stores to get it, okay? Yeah, so coming back to the device. Many things to like. Large screen, great battery life, Entry level performance that is not really a slouch over here, and uh, you have get a really good real main camera over here. So many things to like, but definitely there are also things I need pick like the lack of five G support over here, uh, design not my liking, uh, and also the uh, QC, right? Yeah, especially the power button over here. I still think this device is a solid device. Being for the price at uh, 599 ringgit Malaysia, you can't really demand too much uh, because now the uh, smartphone prices are actually kept on increasing and whatever Infinix is offering right here, I think it suits most of the general users. Unless you are someone that is doing a lot of a pro content creation, then this is not the device for you, all right? Yeah, so take note on that. And if you are actually demanding a lot of uh, performances and so on, again, also this phone is not for you. But for the general users, I think it is sufficient enough for you. And I think this 
600 ringgit Malaysia smartphone is definitely worth your time to decide to get one today yeah so basically that's all I will have to say about the Infinix Hot 20 in Malaysia and special shout out thanks to uh, Infinix Malaysia for providing a loan review unit for review content purposes however this is not a paid content therefore there's no editorial input no final approval is needed and make sure uh, that uh, why what I'm actually telling you guys here is actually I have been expressing the device for two weeks so future software updates might be differ a little bit from what I'm actually explaining right here so hopefully you guys understand about that all right so I really need to wrap things up and if you're still new to the YouTube channel please subscribe to it follow us on social media drop some comments share it out and uh, I'll try to answer it okay on the comment section if you have any questions and I'll see you guys on the next one all right